Chelsea Football Club's owner, Roman Abramovich, has been spotted in public for the first time since being sanctioned over his ties to Vladimir Putin. He was seen in the VIP lounge, of course, at Tel Aviv Airport, where he departed for Istanbul on a private jet. It's thought the billionaire then flew to Moscow. Uh, our home editor, Jason Farrell, is in Istanbul for us. Hi, Jason. What more do we know? Good morning. Hi, Kay. Yeah, well, this is the first time he's seen, as you say, this, since those sanctions have been put on him on Thursday last week uh, in Tel Aviv airport with uh, wearing a face mask around his chin, getting ready to get onto his private jet uh, to fly here to Istanbul. But he didn't stay here very long. He arrived in the afternoon yesterday and then he flew off uh, to Moscow in the early hours uh, this morning, we understand. So uh, he isn't here uh, anymore. Um, what could he be up to? It's uh, quite an interesting question. Uh, we know, for example, that uh, Russian oligarchs are obviously trying to get their money out of Europe. Uh, he has a super jet, which has been in Montenegro Bay, and I looked at where it was last night on Marine Tracker, and it's now heading down the coast of Albania, Solaris, that super yacht uh, that's worth 460 million pounds, uh, which has a helipad and even its own missile detection system is apparently on its way here. So was he checking out places perhaps that he could uh, keep the yacht here? But um, we also believe that he may have been trying to arrange some of the sale of, uh, Moose, uh, of, uh, of Chelsea Football Club. Uh, he has uh, been in talks, uh, we can confirm, uh, with Moosin Bayrak, who is a, uh, a businessman here. He's a, he's a, he's a Turkish billionaire. Um, and we've spoken to his, his press officer this morning, who says that he did uh, meet with Roman Abramovich, but not on this visit last week. And he has plans to meet with him again. Uh, so that is uh, an interesting development. But obviously, Roman Abramovich can't sell Chelsea Football Club because his assets have been frozen. And the, and the British government have made it very clear uh, that any sale of the club uh, the assets would not go to Roman Abramovich. Uh, but it may be, obviously, he started this negotiations at the beginning, uh, it, it's at some point last week, and it may be that he might still be continuing those negotiations in the hope that at some point he can get those assets back. Uh, this Turkish uh, billionaire made his money uh, in energy. Um, he also uh, is involved in cryptocurrency, um, and uh, he, he also has development uh, business here uh, in, um, Turkish, in a Turkish resort. So uh, it is possible uh, that that's part of the reason why he's been interested in Turkey. But of course, the world is getting much smaller for Roman Abramovich and all of these uh, oligarchs who are no longer able to keep their assets in, uh, in Europe. It's not just the UK. Europe has now also put sanctions on Roman Abramovich. And, of course, he was in Tel Aviv, and he actually is an Israeli citizen. He's an Israeli and a Portuguese citizen as well. Um, and he does have um, assets, including a big mansion in Tel Aviv, and that has not been seized yet, unlike the mansions that he has uh, in Kensington and the penthouse that he has in West London. He's lost those. Those are currently in the control of the British government.